Why, why did this person leave my life? Why did you take this individual? Help me understand, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that the, it's the peace of the Lord that brings all understanding. And that's what we really got to understand. And a lot of people ain't really ready for that type of peace. We say that we want peace, but we don't really want peace, right? A lot of people want the chaos, but if you really want peace, then take on God's peace. No, our, our problem is that we want the peace that we want in our own flesh. We want fleshly peace instead of spiritual peace. And, and, and it's the spiritual peace that brings all understanding, right? Not our understanding, but his. And I, I feel that that there are so many people, like even, even today, there was somebody that was saying like um, that, they keep receiving bad news after bad news after bad news after bad news. And listen, we've been there. We've been there. We've been in a position where we kept receiving bad news after bad news after bad news. And it's like, yo, when is it going to get better? Like, God, do you not see that we're going through this, right? And that could be traumatic in itself yeah. when you're sitting there walking with the Lord. Listen, it ain't easy. It is not easy walking with the Lord. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you straight up, it's very challenging. Matter of fact, it's very dirty. Matter of fact, it's very muddy. Matter of fact, it is probably one of the, it could fleshly feel like one of the worst things, yeah. right? It could feel like that. But the reality is, is that we got to go through that pain, that struggle, because at the end of the day, I personally feel that the Lord is, is he's showing us some of the pain that he even feels, right? How do we have a, a real relationship? We, me and you got a relationship because I feel your pain. That I would never be able to, to, to empathize with your pain if I didn't really walk with you through it, right? So we think that God is just, just doesn't have any like feeling at all, right? You don't think that it hurts him that, you know, people are being murdered? Yeah. You don't think that it hurts him that people are, are you know, having just abortions all mm -hmm. willy-nilly? You don't think that it hurts him that, you know, that a man is sitting there beating on his wife or a wife is sitting there trying to abuse her hub husband verbally, right? Or that these kids are abandoned? You don't think it hurts? It hurts him mm -hmm. because he didn't create us for that. So in, in, in other words, you know, I don't think God allows his own trauma to stop him from healing us or mm -hmm. giving to us right right it could be very traumatic I, I, and and this is just my feeling y'all like don't 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 crucify me and everything y'all i'm just i'm just speaking as vulnerable and as real as possible and we got to really put on if we really putting on the mind of christ if we putting on that crown we putting on that, that armor we putting on that helmet mm -hmm. let's really think about it yeah because you could sit there and look at Jesus and look at his walk, and, and this man was sitting there going through it. He's going through it because he has to keep tell, asking the disciples to have faith, mm -hmm. right? And, 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 and weeping, weeping so bad that, that he was sweating blood. Mm -hmm. Sweating blood. Like, I ain't, I ain't never seen nobody sweat blood before. I think a lot of times I hear Christ followers when they're praying or talking and they say, there's this one phrase that always comes to my mind. Um, and it just came to my mind again when you were talking is, Lord, break my heart for mm. what breaks yours. <sighs> and when I was in my young 20s and I was going to church, um, I remember someone praying that, Lord, break my heart for what breaks yours. And the pastor was like, you better know what you're you asking know the what Lord asking for, for. Yeah. because that's not a light ass from the Lord. Mm. What breaks the Lord's heart, a lot of times we can't handle. We can't handle. And so in our prayers, we need to really be mindful of what we're asking the Lord for, because if he really broke our heart for the things that broke his heart, we, we probably wouldn't even be able to handle it if we can't even handle the traumas that we're going through on an everyday life and the subtle things, not saying that the things we go through are subtle or light or, um, you know, not big enough. Mm. They are, especially for, you know, our human selves to to take on. But, you know, just in that prayer, just be careful what you're asking God for, because if he gives you, mm. you know, that. What breaks his heart, if he gives us that broken heart, mm. it's it's not easy. You better be prayed up and you better be anointed. <laughs> yeah, 100%. A lot of people, I think we pray, um, a lot of people pray very loosely, right? And it's like, when are you, 
when are we going to understand that we can't say prayer so loose? What I want to commend is I want to commend the people that are praying intently. I want to commend the people. See, what we, what we I don't want to continue to point out the problems without without pointing out some victories. Right. I think that that's another thing that, you know, um, is traumatic for people that are walking with God. Let, let's just take church, for example. Mm -hmm. So many people are are traumatized by going to church. Because of what the church folk, the humans did to them, not the church, the church folk, the people. And they get the up and they go people. broken people, <laughs> hurt people, hurt people. And they sit here and they want and they hurt you because you show up and you give and you tithe and you pray and you fast and you do all the things. But then these same people hurt you. Right. But then I, at the same time, what about the people that's doing well? Do they not deserve you? Do they do just because these people hurt you? What about the people that that didn't hurt you? What about the people that are there for you? What about the church that's actually doing well? What about the church that's actually doing what they're supposed to do? What about the church that's actually, you know, stewarding over their 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 flock and stewarding over their finances the way that they're supposed to be doing it, right? We don't ever talk about that. We always talking about and trying to break the church down because, uh, you know, because because of your particular trauma. No, deal with your trauma. Deal with your pain. You deal with that directly. Don't sit there and chastise the entire church just because you feel some type of way and think that that's everybody bundling us all up and everything into one one space that's not right right i really feel that we have to you know look at look at this thing from a case by case basis that's basically saying okay cool paul he sat there and, and killed christians you know what i'm saying all right well guess what this same man was also used to write half of the new testament so what if God sat there and looked at you for every single thing that you did wrong, every single thing that you was, you, 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 he, what if he judged on every single thing? What about every single thought? What about every single word that you utter? Mm -hmm. And then you got the nerve to sit there and say, I don't mess with church folk. Right. And that's, that's my, that's my, that's the thing. Stop, stop pointing out all of the problems just to get a click without pointing out some of the great things in, in giving victory. It's we talk about in, in today's time, we talk about giving flowers, right? Giving flowers is, is, is a thing. Well, guess what? Why don't you give flowers to the people that's actually doing it? See, the problem is, right, and I just said it right there, the problem, right? The thing is, is that I see a lot of is we glorify what you pointed out earlier, the chaos. Mm -hmm. We point out the chaos in the church but we don't point out the victories. We, we quick to point out the chaos because we don't really want the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth is, is that you know Christ died for you.